Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I love seeking solutions for people. It's kind of what got me started in this whole internet thing way back in 1996. And sometimes I even like answering questions and recording those answers in videos, uh, either from our community or the community at large, including from one of our partners, PC Pit Stop. More information, go.tagjag.com slash PC Pit Stop. And from that community, we have someone, Mike, who asks, I'm a retired CAD professional. Uh, computer-aided drafting or computer-aided design, now using my legal but unsupported copy of a mainstream CAD package to support my hobby. My package installs and runs fine on Windows XP. I'll need to update my laptop soon to a PC more appropriate for home use. Do you think that my legacy CAD software is likely to install and run on Windows 7? Do you have any advice? Well, it might install and run fine on Windows 7. I can't guarantee it, but... Microsoft has already figured this out because they know a lot of us are still using programs that ran fine on Windows XP but no longer run fine on Windows 7. What they've done is they've released something that they like to call Windows XP mode. Now you have to download and install it, don't worry, it's free. If you go to Google or your favorite search engine, well it's Microsoft so you can bing it, Windows XP mode download, I'm sure you're going to find it, so long as you download it directly from Microsoft.com. Make sure you do that. And what it does is installs Virtual PC, which essentially is software that uh, virtualizes the operating system. Windows 7 users should install this, okay? So if your CAD software installs but doesn't run fine on Windows 7, you're going to want to download and install Windows XP mode for Windows 7. And what it's going to do is allow you to install that software, which ran fine in Windows XP. It's going to install it under Windows XP mode, and it'll run fine inside of Windows 7. It's kind of, kind of genius. In fact, the future of operating systems is all about virtualization. So they've made it easier for you to upgrade from Windows XP to Windows 7. And certainly, if you're running Vista, it is uh, my wholehearted recommendation that you upgrade to Windows 7. So never fear, if, even if there is issues, you can run it inside of Windows XP mode in Windows 7 using the software that Microsoft's giving you for free, for you Windows 7 users, and you're good to go. That's it. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you can find uh, the community of tech enthusiasts over at geeks.perillo.com. You can start archiving your own live stream, your tweets, YouTube videos, Flickr, anything that has an RSS feed can be imported over at LockerGnome.net. And what we'll do is we'll funnel it into a free WordPress blog for you. And then uh, we've also got, uh, what, what, what else do we have? Oh, the coupons.lockerGnome.com site that's got, you know, a uh, whole bunch of links where you can save money on stuff, including Windows 7. You can know I can save you money on that. I can save you money on just about anything. My blog, chris.perillo.com, in the chat room, it's a part of a live video feed going out over the web. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.